Hi, it's Keith and Steve from Brownells, and we're here at Rock Island Auction House here in Illinois to bring you some guns from the vault. And this time we have a rare volcanic pistol. This is a lever action pistol that fires self-contained ammunition. Now, it's not a cartridge really, sort of, kinda. It's, uh, what it is, it's a hollow projectile with the gunpowder packed into the projectile, black powder, and then a cap put on the back with a primer inserted in the middle of the cap. So there's a loading port, but there's no ejection port. You don't have anything to eject. Kind of weird. Let's take a look at it. First off, it loads just like a Henry repeating rifle, which means you bring your follower all the way up and tilt that to side and you drop them down the magazine tube right there. When you're finished loading, you grab your follower and it follows down and pushes your shells back. When I say shells, I mean your self-contained ammunition, whatever you want to call it. When you, to move the breech block, I'm gonna cock this to make it a little easier. This comes up and your lifter, just like a 66 Winchester or 73 Winchester or Henry, it's lifting it straight up, a little elevator to elevate your ammunition. It's very simple. You've got a huge side plate here and here. You've got complete access to the inner workings. It's a brass frame, perfectly adequate for black powder ammunition. I imagine this held maybe five or six rounds at the most. It wasn't a very powerful gun, but it did give you repeated firepower in a small package, in a relatively small package. This is heavier than a Glock 17 loaded, but there's a lot of brass in there. They made these in different barrel lengths. They also made carbines for the Volcanic. The Volcanic uh, Firearms Company was in New Haven, Connecticut, and amazingly enough, the principal stockholder was Oliver Winchester. So you see where all this got started. He went on to make the Henry, the 66, the 73, the 94, you know the story. But this is kind of where it started, was self-contained ammunition in a package that would let you work a lever and get shots off rapidly. So, Keith, take a look at that. You don't handle much of that stuff, I know. No, I'm not I don't. Big, not real big on black powder stuff, but there's a neat engraving right here. There is a side. an arm with a hand clutching a dagger, dagger. right there. Tip it up once. That's pretty cool. So this belonged to someone who had a coat of arms or something, and he had it engraved. And according to the description, the, the engraving is from about the period, so it's been on there a long time. This particular gun was made in 1856, and there weren't large numbers made. I think the total on these was like 1,200 guns, which in the gun world is a pretty small production number. Absolutely. That's why they command super high prices when you can find them. Yeah, this is pretty much the forerunner of the lever action rifle. It is, right it here. really is. That's, they just uh, scaled it up. That's right. And even later on, you know, the the repeating pistols of the late 18th century or 19th century, like uh, European pistols, the Bittner, mm -hmm. uh, some of those, those were a lever action, action sort of thing where they had cartridges, but you still had to work a lever to get the action going. It wasn't semi-automatic. It was a manual repeater. And this was the granddaddy right here. Yep. Pretty nice piece. Early, early forerunner of caseless ammunition. Right, exactly. It didn't so. take off then and it still hasn't taken <laughs> off today. Even HK couldn't yeah. make that work. <laughs> but all in all, a really nice piece, very interesting, excellent condition. I, these didn't get used hard because they didn't get used a lot, I don't think. But we really want to thank Rock Island Auction House for having us over and letting us look at this and all the other guns they've got here. We'd like to thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault.